Round one, fight! What's up, everyone? Thank you for joining us once again on the D Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raphilus, and thank you for joining us for another Figure Fix Friday. That's right, it's Friday, it's the end of the week. It's time to fix some toys, or at least in this case, we're going to make them look cool. What are we looking at today? We have the Mr. Hobby. This is my go to, this has been my go to when it comes to giving our figures an awesome looking flat top coat. This is highly recommended to use with anything that Bandai has done. Pretty much Mr. Hobby and Bandai go hand in hand when it comes to their Gundam model kits. They always recommend this. In fact, I'm 100% sure they even use this stuff on SH Figure Arts. That's how they get that matte finish on their premium looking figures. Here's the issue that we're going to run into whenever we're buying this stuff. Everyone's been asking me, what is a good alternative? I can't find it. It's $30. It's $20. And, and you know what? I gotta say, I gotta say, okay. A little bit on me. I'm the one that made that Spider-Man video all super popular and everyone wanted to flat coat their Marvel Legends. So they all tried to buy this and now it's super hard to find. Or at least during that time. Even now, it, I think this is still going for about $15 to $20. That's kind of a lot. So... I'm not going to toot my own horn that I made this stuff sell out. Let's find an alternative. So, what is this? We're looking at Tamiya Color. This is TS80 Flat Clear. This is also made in Japan. Is this a good alternative? That's what a lot of people have been asking me. Hey, can you check this out? Can we see how it is? And I already did that for you. So, here we go. Here is the brand new Full Power Goku, which is coming in stock soon into dstartoys.com. This one's using the premium flat coat. Now, the demoniacal fit Goku Black or Chosen Ones is the Tamiya color version. And let me just tell you right now, right off the bat, is there a difference in the flat coat? Let's look, let's take a deep dive. When we look at the premium top coat, obviously it gives it a really nice flat look almost looks like super premium. It's, this made a $34 figure, almost look like a $50 figure right here. All I did was pretty much just gave this guy a 10 second spray all around, and that's the color that I get. As you can see, the light hits it. It's not shiny, looks really nice and premium. So let's look at the right side here. The Chosen One's demoniacal fit was a shiny figure, people. And you can tell that's where Demoniacal Fit totally kind of skimped out on that step to, to give it a flat look. Now we added Tamiya flat coat to it. As you can see, wow, there is a huge difference. Uh, I, I, know, I know I don't have the before and after, but let me tell you, this thing was a shiny mess. And you can actually see a little bit on the shoulder right there. I didn't spray that part. Super shiny. And then you look at the back, look at that premium flat um, flat top coat. So there you have it. Uh, to answer the question right away, before we get into actually spraying some figures, is the Tamiya color one better? Uh, I'd have to say they're about the same, but this is actually where Tamiya color wins. I could easily find this stuff at a hobby store. I can find it almost at every hobby store that, I, that, that I've been to. And the reason is, to me, a color is distributed differently than Premium Top Coat by Mr. Hobby. This is distributed by Bluefin Core. Tamiya distributes their own paints. So they can send it to pretty much any store they want, whereas Bluefin is actually kind of selective on the hobby store that they sell to. Usually it has, to, usually it has Gundams and stuff like that. Tamiya, you could find almost anywhere. So, yeah, that itself is great. You're looking at a $10 spray can that you can find at almost any hobby store versus a $20 spray can 
which or $15 ship, 20 ships, depending on where you get it. And it's only in select stores. So there you have it. I think, honestly, I love the way Mr. Hobby looks. This is how Bandai intended their figures to look or their gunpla. And therefore, I'm trying my best to stick to this. But in a pinch, you probably wouldn't even notice a difference between Tamiya Color and Mr. Hobby Premium Top Coat. So let's go into actually spraying the figures. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take some figures here that haven't been sprayed, right? And we're going to see if there's a difference. This also acts as somewhat of a tutorial so you guys know how to do it. We have an SH figure as Piccolo too. So we're going to remove the cape. So this is what we're going to do right here. And we have a demoniacal fit um, abomination right there. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put premium top coat on Wolverine, Marvel Legends, and a Piccolo, SH Figure Arts. And then we're going to put Tamiya on our SH Figure Arts Pac-Man, which is available at DesertToys.com. And we're going to put it on a demoniacal fit abomination as you can see the abomination super shiny just like how uh goku black was or the chosen ones so this is what we're gonna do let's start off let's get a mask on hold on one second i will be right back okay i got the fan going at full blast i got a mask on so this is going to be super simple honestly i highly recommend you do this outside but i got the windows open i got the fan going we're in a well-ventilated area, so let's go. So this is Tamiya. We're going to shake it up. About 10 seconds. We're going to get Mr. Pac-Man all the way out there. All right, and this is how I do it. Just so you guys know, here's a ruler. That's 12 inches right there. And we're going to go at around 6. And we're going to just give him a nice little spray. Now, there's going to be kids out there that do this and be like, Oh, it's going on wet. It's not flat. Oh, my God. Don't worry. When it dries, it's going to come out flat, okay? Chill. Okay, chill. I'm going to message you, Mr. T-Star, on Instagram at 1 a.m. Oh, no, no, don't, don't do that, please. Don't. I need my rest. I have a job now, and it takes a lot out of me. Okay, there you go. See? There you have it. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave this guy to dry for about 15 minutes. And we're going to put him aside. And then we're going to also get abominations here. From Demoniacal Fit. Let's see if we can get him to stand. Again, six inches. Okay, that's it. And that's this the front. Keep the touching to a minimal, please. You put you as soon as you touch this when it's wet, you're gonna leave fingerprints on it. So don't do that. So I'm just going to barely touch the top of the head because that's where I barely sprayed it. Okay. <clears throat> Moving on. It's time for the top coat to shine. Marvel Legends. Wolverine. Mr. Hobby Premium Top Coat. Let's shake it up. Okay, that's it. That's all we're going to do. Get the back. And that's it. Put him aside. And it's time for Mr. Piccolo. We're going premium top coat on this guy.
and that's it. So, we're going to put them aside. We're going to wait a bit, but here's something interesting. Within that five minutes, check this out. This is the Tamiya. He is already dried. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So Tamiya dries, uh, I think, a little bit faster. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And here we go. Here's the flat coat uh, Tamiya. Oh, look at that. That looks so cool. Right? And this is already somewhat, let's do a versus right now. So this has been like five minutes. As you can see, the um, Mr. Hobby is still taking its time. So I'm going to give it another five minutes, and then we will come up with a conclusion. All right, guys, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so it has been about 15 minutes. Now we can totally look at these things um, and see which is better, or maybe they are just the same, and maybe one's just the better value than the other. So let's look at Tamiya right now. As you can see right here, this is the um, Abomination. And he has a really almost too matte look to it. But you know what? I really dig this look. Um, yeah, that was dry within a couple minutes, not even five. And I think to me it does indeed dry a little bit faster. So as you can see, this has a really nice matte finish. You can see the skin now looks a lot more natural and whatnot. That looks really cool. Let's put him aside. Now let's look at Mr. Pac-Man now. Now we took a $20 SH Figure Arts, and now he looks like a really nice figure. When the light shines off it, I love the way that, that light looks. It's not super shiny. has a nice flat look to Mr. Pac-Man here, so it kind of matches... Um, the gloves, when you get Pac-Man, the gloves are matte finish, but everything else is kind of a shiny look. Now that finish comes through all the way through. Uh, one more thing, I know, uh, for those who watched the Pac-Man review, my arm is fixed. I actually used the super glue and water mod. I didn't use Fixer Elixir. I tried Fixer Elixir, but this was the gap was just way too way too wide. So the super glue water method did work to fix him. But anyway, that's besides the point. Tamiya looks really good on Mr. Pac-Man right here. He's now looking like a $30 figure rather than a $20 figure. And last but not least, we already looked at him. This is Goku Black. So let's look at the premium top coat. We already looked at full power Goku. Um, but what we want to look at is Piccolo right here. Proud Namekian. As you can see, the premium top coat always looking good. Always making all your Bandai figures look really premium. Um, yeah, honestly, there's really no complaint here. Uh, I think I missed a few spots on Piccolo. I might have to go back, but as you can see, the flat coat is always good, always excellent. And let's look at Wolverine. So this is a $20 figure as well. This is Marvel Legends. As you can see, the premium top coat made him look even better. He's no longer this shiny mess. He looks really solid. He looks premium, hence the name. So one more thing I wanted to show you is the scratch resistance. So I'm going to do this for you guys so you guys don't have to. And I know there's going to be that one person in the comment. Why do you ruin your figures? So you don't have to ruin your figures. That's up to me. So let's do a scratch test. That's what we're doing. So what we're looking at the back here, we're just going to scratch it up. With my nails, say you're a kid and you're playing with this hard and you just, after you top coated it and everything like that, and you notice that top coat, you can't really even see the scratches. So now we're going to look at the Tamiya color and we're going to scratch it. Uh, as you can see, whoa, okay, so there is a little bit of a difference. Let's see if I can scratch that one up a little bit more. So I did scratch the, the coats off a little bit. And it looks like when you try to scratch the Goku Black one, you will see more obvious scratches. But then again, it's also gray. Uh, but then Goku over here is orange. And you can barely see the scratches. They're still there. Let's see if you can just rub it off with your thumb. 
And yeah, you kind of can. But it's still there. So I'd say durability wise. Let me see if I can even look at the. Let me look closer. Hold on one second. So I scratched up the Goku a little bit more. I say durability wise, the premium top coat is indeed better. Let's see if I can scratch some of the blue. Yeah, so as you can see right there, you can barely see the scratches. So that is my assessment on that one. I'd have to say premium top coat is definitely more durable. But then again, let's be real. Are you really going to be playing super hard with your figures after you're done doing this? This is almost like you're doing this so you can have really a really nice look when you're taking pictures or you're just putting them in your case. When the light hits it, you want it to look super good. So anyway, I think that's my assessment. What would I recommend if I had one choice? I, I said it before, Mr. Hobby is my go-to. I've been using it for years now, and I love it. But in a pinch, there's nothing wrong with Tamiya Color, especially when it comes to like the value and the, the ability to find it almost anywhere that sell Hobby paints or Tamiya Color. So that's my assessment of it. Thank you for watching, guys, this episode of figure fix friday i hope you learned something if you have any questions go ahead and comment down below and don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're always in the know when i post new videos and last but not least if you're looking to pick up pac-man goku coming soon and any other ash figure you know where to go you can always go to www.bstartoys.com your reliable source for awesome ash figures and i'll see you guys next time peace Hey you, thanks for watching, rate, comment, and subscribe, where? Right here, not there, right here, you, and thanks for watching, so, rate, comment, and subscribe, right here, right there, right here, yeah.